uh, so good morning to everyone like uh, so i was told to talk about uh, applications of mathematics okay so there first i would like to say something about applications of mathematics so there are two type of mathematicians one people work on uh, theoretical or they are also known as uh, pure mathematicians and other people are like applied mathematics people okay so pure mathematics people like uh, they prove many results in mathematics and uh, many times they don't even know where it's going to be applied okay also sometimes even they don't need to know like suppose uh, i am proving some theorem or something and uh, there is no requirement that i need to know where it's going to be applied and so on why sometimes what happens is in the literature like see now we know mathematics for many years like even like in the time of fourier how many of you heard about fourier 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 series like so fourier series like one of the like cornerstone in applied mathematics okay but like the origin so it was say like it was actually done all this works related to fourier series was done by fourier and but his original motivation was not nothing to do with application side he has some questions related to pure mathematics and he solved that problem using this fourier series technique but later people understood that actually this technique can be applied in various places okay so that's how works like i try i prove something theoretically but later people find some application to it okay uh, so in this talk what we will do or in your course many time you will see that so like in school we have come across adding numbers multiplying numbers and so on but like uh, over the time we will also need to multiply alphabets that you might have come across many times maybe we multiply two polynomials and so on then we multiply x with the x or x with y and so on right so like what could be possibly use for such thing like if you add numbers that we know it's useful like it maybe in everyday life we are using adding numbers multiplication numbers and division and so on right likewise adding or multiplying or dividing this alphabet also sometimes very helpful so that we will see with an we are using a game okay so that game is called pick solitaire game and uh, one example is like we are living in a like in the real life what sort of numbers we use every day like 1 2 3 and so on then 0 and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 also we use right so what is the use of minus 1 like 1 means like i have to give like uh, say like uh, in 1 rupee means like somebody has to give me 1 rupee minus 1 sometime means like i have to give him back the 1 rupee right like 1 2 3 likewise minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 also has real life uh, meaning so we are living we are in our real time we are in our real life we are using the numbers 1 2 3 and so on 0 and minus 1 minus 2 and so on there may be some alien species like we don't know they may be live in a world where their numbers are only four numbers e a b c they know only these four numbers okay for them possibly these are the only four numbers and uh, so in numbers in our number system we know how to add numbers like what is the meaning of 1 plus 3 what is the meaning of minus 1 plus minus 2 that we know for them what are the numbers only four numbers they have e a b c and this they might have some way of adding numbers or some way of adding this number or multiplying these things so in a, like there is a subject called group theory where we will study about groups okay there we will come across this group called klein four group where the numbers are just four numbers e a b c and we multiply them in some way like 1 plus 2 is 3 we know there i will tell what is the, what is the value of e times a what is the value of a times b what is the value of b times c okay so now here comes the question like this is called klein four group and we studied it very extensively we study lot of properties of it okay then here comes the question what is the use of it why i am studying all those things these numbers make sense 3 5 7 and so on this this is called abstract group where elements are some alphabets e a b c what is the use of it okay again these groups were constructed using some theoretical knowledge or it's actually arising from geometry but it can be used in real life problems also okay so if you want to see some real life application we need to go to networkings and uh, maybe little bit more 
uh, deep knowledge is needed but our talk is only for like about uh, 30 45 minutes so what we can do i will tell you simple example of the claim for group in the game peck solitaire okay so we will see what is that game first uh, first let's see a video how to so this is the video so how many of you seen this game okay good so what is the what is uh, uh, like what is the aim of this game uh, finally so you see there is a uh, wooden board in which there is lot of marbles right so what you have to do you see how they are playing it oh. sorry i have my so this is the starting position okay in the middle usually there will not be any marbles and like in everywhere else there will be marbles and it will be in this shape like sort of plus shape okay so this is the starting position and he and you see how he is playing it so he takes a marble a marble jumps over the another marble and it goes to the empty place and the marble in the middle one is taken out is that fine and they are going to do it regular uh, i mean in a sequence so wherever is it uh, the rules are somewhat okay you just keep like uh, whenever there is a empty space and if we uh, adjacent to it if there are two consecutive marbles one marble jumps over the other and uh, land up in land in the empty space and the marble in the middle one will take it and uh, put it aside it's very simple so the aim is to so now every step we are discarding one marble so the aim is to we have to end up with single marble for example you see here he has a uh, finally he has only two marbles and it's one marble and that comes at the end is it clear so that's the aim so what we are seeing is there is a way actually you can just remember the steps that he is following and so finally you can end up with this one marble okay yeah so this is the game let's go into the slides okay so this is the this is how the game starts and now like so th there is a difference between this board and the board we just saw is it like uh, for example there so so this is so here you have uh, like a 3 then 5 then 7 and so on right and in the earlier one how it was So here you see here it is uh, 3, 3 and here also 3, 3. Here this is a different board, correct? But in the slides it is different board. Here the board is different. But the, still the game rules are same, okay? So th here the question is like, th so here I am going to play the same game in this board. It is called uh, Octagon Solitaire, okay? So, I want to play the same game here and uh, finally, I want to end up with a single single marble at the center. That is the game. Okay. Now, we already saw one different board and uh, there we know how to bring one marble at the center of the board. Right. We saw in the YouTube video. Right. Now, this is slightly different version of the game. The question is, can you... Uh, bring one uh, you can you uh, achieve the single marble at the center in this configuration also so that is the question okay suppose there is a like a, so people do gambling right so there is a person who shows in the in the old board that let's call it classical board the what we saw in the youtube video so he shows that like see if the board is like that then i can always bring one marble to the center okay now i'll give you a different board to the to play to play this game you give me 10 ruby okay but if you can bring one marble to the center if you can bring one marble to the center i will give you say like 10000 i will give you so you will you agree to play that game like we will okay we think we have already seen how to bring one marble to the center and we thought okay this is also look similar maybe i will also try to do the same 
okay so we'll try there once it may not work then we'll come back home and we keep dry try try but we may not we may never able to do it okay so it is very difficult to see that why we can never able to bring one marble to the center of this uh, board okay but with a little mathematics knowledge we can actually prove that yeah, as far as this board is concerned we can never able to bring one marble at the center okay so again to do that we can use that abstract group that uh, mul multiplication is used by some alien species say okay so how to do that that is a question so one side we have a starting configuration another side we have a winning configuration so that's what we want to reach let's see how to do it yeah so how can we know for sure that no matter which way we proceed we will never be able to end up in the winning position okay so actually the number of ways of play this game so suppose you these dots are marbles okay this there is marbles here in each in each of these dots actually there are many different ways you play that game so it is not that you try out all possible ways and check whether you can reach one marble or not that is impossible even with the support of computers also that number is number of possible ways of play this game is a huge number so there is no way of we actually check uh, or we actually uh, check by hand then uh, whether we can reach the number uh, we, where we reach a single marble at the center that we cannot do so let's try let's see how we can use mathematics okay there are two ways of doing it one is using the claim for group this is one much simpler way okay let's first see this so we have the board so you see so this is our board right and uh, so forget marbles we have only empty board okay empty board looks like this right and at each board i am putting some numbers at some place i put one some place i put zero very very like sort of randomly but uh, there is a pattern for example if you see first row it is one one zero second row it is one one zero and one one so i try to go cycling one one zero one one zero one one zero and so on so when you come to the third row it is one one zero one one zero again one it stops there in the second one in the fourth row <coughs> i just continue it so third row was ends like one one zero one one zero one then one zero one one zero one one then again i come one one zero one one like is it clear so i'm just keep doing one one zero one one zero like this is one one zero so first time going here one one zero then i one one zero one one zero then this one one it sends here uh, uh sorry not that way so this is one one zero and this is next one one zero this is one one just stop here and this is one one zero again one one zero again this is one but here i don't want to top one uh, start one one zero because i want it vertically also i want it to be one one zero okay maybe like uh, the way how i have numbered is maybe little difficult just to first do row wise 110 first row is clear second row i am doing 11011 there is no place to put zero here so i am not putting zero there okay in third row again i start freshly 110 1101 i just stop there so here we we want to put 110 but uh, that will give me horizontally 110 but uh, so like finally we want vertically also 110 this 110 okay so maybe after this row it will be clear so here i put 101 here 10 then then 11 this is 110 then this is 11 so this is 011 but again this is 011 so the point is vertically also if you look at it like this is 110 so this is another 110 this is 110 so we have put it like this like horizontally also it should be 110 vertically also it should be 110 so that is the only condition so that way we can just uh, label it any way we want so is the labeling clear so just 110 repeated row wise as well as column wise okay now so again this is just the empty board without any marbles and uh, so sort of this uh, so this wherever i put a 1 or 0 they are place holders for some marbles right so in the, at the beginning except the center place uh, where is the center place like uh, except here right except here everywhere else there will be marbles right so i define something called weight weight of the board means weight means 
So, first step there will be marbles at everywhere and the second step how many marbles will be less? One will be less. Okay. And the third step two will be less. So, at each step we get different different configuration. First step we have starting configuration. Second step starting configuration minus one marble. Okay, that is a new configuration. Then next step starting configuration minus two marbles. That is another configuration. So, for each this configuration, I am going to define a number called weight, weight of the configuration. What is it? So, you look at the places corresponds to one. If there is a marble there, you, you add one to the weight. Do not worry about the zero place. Okay. So, at the starting, what is the weight of the configuration? Number of ones. What is that? Number of ones excluding the center because in the beginning in center there is no marble. So, excluding that uh, how many ones are there? Uh, excluding the center one. Excluding the center one. Yeah. But uh, in the center one there is no marble. There are 25 ones. Right, but in the mid, in the center, we don't put the marble at the beginning of the game. Okay, so remember that the starting configuration at every place there will be a marble except at the center. Okay, and in the center, it is one. So here there is no marble, and in everywhere else there is marble. And uh, what is weight? Weight is sum of the ones where there is a marble. But uh, in the all the ones there is a marble, so we count all the ones except the center one. Okay. So you see there are three ones here and there is a four one in this. So there is a three ones in this diagonal and there is four and uh, and again here is four like we can just simply count. So it will be 25 including this center one. But in the big in the beginning configuration or starting configuration, there won't be one there won't be marble at the center. So we should not count this one. So it will be 24. So the weight of the starting configuration is 24. Uh, maybe with more example, it will be better. So next step, what happens is we will discard one more marble. Okay, so that time weight will change, right? So what is the weight? So at each so there is a starting configuration. Then we get to the next step, another configuration, and the next configuration because configuration keep changes because every time we discard one marble. At the say after tenth step, we will be end up at some completely different configuration. What is the weight of the configuration corresponds to tenth step? How do we calculate it? So in the tenth step, you look at all the one places. You see wherever there is a marble, you just count that one. Okay, if there if someone is left without marbles, then we should not count that marble. Okay, so the weight of the configuration is uh, very clear. So, like uh, most likely, it looks like the weight will keep decrease because at, we keep decreasing marbles, right? So, let us see what happens to the configuration. So, if you look at the starting con uh, the way we labeled the uh, so the way we labeled the board. So, if you look at any three consecutive cells, it will be either 110 or 101. You look at any three consecutive cells here, it will be 110 or 101. Okay. Is that clear? So, any operation you do, like you look at the empty space and near to that, there should be two marbles and this one marble should, send, should go to the empty place and the marble in the middle will get thrown out right so at every step the marble is this board is disturbed only at three consecutive cells other places remains as it is okay so the weight also completely depends on the three consecutive cells that's been uh, disturbed at the nth step okay so what happens is like when you do one operation or when you throw one marble outside it will be there are two cases like uh, this is one possibility so so here is a marble at the here there is a marble and here there is a marble and what happens this marble is put here and uh, this marble is thrown out that's one case so that will result in this place so this marble is put it here 
so here now earlier here it was a empty place but here now you have a marble right here you got a marble here earlier here there is no marble and uh, earlier at this place no marbles and here there was a marble but it's put it here so this both place will be empty only this place this both place will be only this place will re, will get the marble so in the so in say this is say this is n minus 1th uh, stage say this is the nth stage now we see what is the change in the weight okay here in the n minus 1th stage here also you have a marble here also you have marble so they contribute to 2 right is that correct so i mean these only these three boxes will contribute 2 to the uh, weight suppose in the 10th step we have uh, one configuration like this in the 11th step it can be changed to like changed to like this okay so what happens is so here weight, weight of these three boxes is 2 here what is the weight of these three boxes 0 because uh, this both the one boxes are empty and we have put put a uh, marble in the zero box only is that clear okay so just think about it it was like this here you have a uh, so uh, here you have a marble here you have a marble here you don't have marble it is changed to here you don't have marbles here you don't have marbles here you have marble okay therefore this is the tenth step in the tenth step these three marbles contribute to okay but in the 11th step these three marbles will contribute 0 because this one th place is empty so it will not contribute anything this one place is empty it will not contribute anything and this 0 place we put a marble but the 0 th place anyway they are not going to contribute anything to the weight. So what I am trying to say is whenever you have this kind of configuration change it to this kind of configuration the total weight is decreased by 2 ok. So there is another possibility this one. So here is a marble here you have a marble here you have a marble and like what we do we put this marble here okay and this marble get thrown out so that will result in these two boxes become empty and you receive a marble here okay so these are all these two empty and here you have a marble right now what is the weight of these what is the contribution of these three boxes to the weight this is 1 0 this is anyway empty 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 nothing okay so this contribution is 1 and similarly here also the contribution is 1 so in when you play this game we are disturbing three consecutive cells and these three consecutive cells it should be of either this form or this form so if it is of this form then in the next step the weight will be decreased by 2 if these three cells are of this form then the next step the weight is unchanged so what what we are observing is at each step depends on the three cells you choose the weight either remains same or decreased by 2 is it clear so think about it like uh, just a very simple observation so this this observation is alone enough to conclude that uh, this game you can we can never win this game let us see why so the weight is unchanged or reduced by 2 at each step ok. So at when we start the weight was 24 right. So what is the weight of the uh, winning configuration that we let us understand. So you see when you win there should be marble at the mi very middle point only at the center of the board you should end up with only one marble everywhere else there should not be any marbles right. So the winning configuration will have only one marble here and everywhere else it is no marbles right all the marbles should be thrown out. So what is the weight of the winning configuration there will be a single marble at the center therefore the weight of the winning configuration will be only one ok. So what happens is you start we start with 24 that is a weight at each step either weight remains same or decreased by 2 ok. Basically, it means that you are either adding 0 or you, you are uh, like uh, subtracting 2. So, by keeping only these two operations, either by adding 0 or subtracting 2, can we reach 1? 
that is impossible right. So, we cannot reach weight 1. So, that says that clearly shows that we cannot reach the winning configuration ok. So, this is one, one explanation I mean you see so we cannot win this game. Simple, this is very simple like without this idea it is very difficult to show that actually this game has no winning strategy. So, uh, at this point any questions? Next we are going to use the little bit more complex, little bit more uh, advanced say this uh, client 4 group, but the idea remains the same ok. Yes please. Oh, ok, let us see. Uh, yeah, I think that configuration also has to be explained. So, 0, 1, 1, what happens? So, the contribution of 0, 1, 1 will be 1 only and uh, when you put this uh, 0 here and 1 is thrown out. So, uh, it will be still 1 only. So, it is unchanged. Uh, yeah, that uh, yeah, one more configuration is there 110, one, uh, 110, then 101, 011, zero, one, one, yeah, yeah. But 011 uh, start of symmetry of 110. So, uh, I did not put it here. Yeah. Uh, but why 110? One, one, like, uh, like I was interested in claim for group only, but uh, then I saw this 110 one, argument also. But they have given us an exercise to figure out why 110, can you use other numbers also. And the answer they given us instead of 110, we can use any two distinct numbers, still it works. But like oh, numbers one is like easy to manip, uh, easy to do calculation, so they put 110. Yeah, but the pattern has to be uh, kept. Uh, what happened to the slides? Okay, good. Okay, so the same idea we are going to use uh, like also this shows like uh, some like well, we do only some subtraction, nothing more is there. Like once you apply the idea correctly, like the, the problem when we start, we have no idea whether this octagon solitaire can be solved or not. But like once you get the right idea, it is almost very simple and this can be explained to you even to school kids also. Okay. please it is automatically disconnected is it like I did not do it ok yeah. So, the problem even though looks it is very like very complicated, but with the right mathematical idea it can be solved much simply that is a point I am trying to make anyway. So, let us see what is uh, Klein 4 group and again how it can be used to solve a similar problem. So, we will now show the insolvability of the octagon game by a different method using groups ok. So, group theory like uh, how many of you heard of like are done a course in group theory ok. So, something some new thing ok. So, as I was saying, so this is the multiplication table of uh, Klein 4 group. So, so these people know only 4 numbers 1 a b c and their multiplication table is given here. If you multiply a and a you will get number 1, b with b you will get 1, c with c you will get 1 if you multiply a and b you will get c and so on. So, like here you see you take any two number among this 1 a b c it is multiplication table is this one. Like if you want to uh, say calculate uh, a c sorry uh, it is not to write. So, if you want to multiply a and c, so this is a and uh, this is c and the multiplication value of a c will be b. Okay, so, this is the multiplication table, you take any number like the similarly like if you want to calculate say a times b, a times b will be c. So, you take any number among 1 a b c, the multiplication what is the resulting value can be read here ok. Also, this multiplication satisfies more properties, but uh, we, like this is a one well defined uh, number system kind of thing ok. We can very well work with uh, these numbers and this is the multiplication ok. So, this looks like a very abstract object, uh, why one consider this kind of numbers in uh, mathematics that kind of question one can use, one can ask, but uh, like uh, they have a lot of application in like, uh, like in group theory also in many geometry many places also, but like uh, again it can be used in like this games kind of stuff also.
let us see. Yeah, so again we come to the same place, uh, same game. And uh, instead of putting 110, I label the uh, label the board in this way using the elements of the client for group. Okay. Now, what is the weight of the board? Okay. Then we need to know how many A's are there, how many B's are there, how many C's are there. We can count like uh, how many A are there. Like uh, so, here you have three, and again here you have four. Again, here you have uh, 5, like 3 plus 4 plus 5, we will get to 12. Similarly, for uh, B also and C also. So, so at the st what is the weight of this board? What is the meaning of weight of the board? You have already assigned weights to each of the cells and the product of all the cells will be the weight of the board, right? So, the weight of the board will be A power 12 because there are 12 A's, you have to multiply all of them. And 12 B's you have to multiply all of them, there are 12 C's. So, if you multiply all of them, uh, the value will be E, not E, it is actually 1. Uh, so, this number 1, it, it sometimes it is denoted by E, sometimes it is denoted by 1. Okay. So, the answer is 1. Why it is 1? Uh, can some anyone say why A power 12, B power 12, C power 12 is 1 from this uh, multiplication table? Uh, Yes, so you see here a into a is uh, 1, right. So, like uh, what I say is like uh, a square is uh, 1. So, if a square is 1, again you can rise it to 6th power, that will be 1 power 6, like then 1 into 1 is also 1 only, so 1, okay. So, if a square is 1, then a power 6 is also 1, a power 12 also 1. So, if a power 12 is 1, similarly b power 12 also 1, c power 12 also 1. So, 1 into 1 into 1, you will get 1 only. Like E is another name for 1. So, sometimes this group is taken as E, A, B, C. Sometimes that takes 1 E, 1 A, B, C. Okay. So, the weight of the starting configuration is E. But here we assume that uh, there is a marble at the center also. Okay. But in when the game starts, you will not have a marble here. Okay. So, that has to be excluded. So, in that case, what you will get? You will get A power 12 b power 11 c power 12 a power 12 uh, can i write here directly that is much easier okay so a power 12 b power 11 c power 12 this is the weight of the starting board because when we start the game there will not be any marble at the center okay then how many a's will be there there will be 12 a's only there will be 11 B's because there is no B at the center. Then again there will be uh, 12 uh, C's. So, it is C power 12. So, again A power 12 will be E times. Then in the B power 11, you take B power 10 times B. Then again for C power 12, you will have E. So, it will be like a E times B power 10 is also E. Then B times E, you will get it is just B. Okay. So, actually, so this is uh, weight of the board. Weight of the board is E. And the weight of the starting starting configuration is we have B. Ah, yes. Sorry, what? Oh, that is why I put 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so I already subtracted it. Okay. Okay, okay that is correct. So, uh, okay, so the weight of the board, I thought they all will be the same. So, others are 12, right? C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Weight of the board is A power 12, B power 13, C power 12. Okay. And weight of the starting configuration. So, weight of the board means I put marbles at the all the, all the places. Therefore, the center B is also included. That is why it is A power 12, B power 13, C power 12. When I start, I remove the this center marble. Therefore, the starting configuration weight is A power 12, B power 12, C power 12. This is equal to E, this is equal to B. Okay, so, whatever I have written here, this is correct. Sorry. Yeah, I was also wondering this, I remember calculating as a center starting configuration only. Okay. So, is it clear? Just to matters how many A's are there, how many B's are there, how many C's are there. And, but uh, 
so this is the starting configuration so at the center there will not be marble but each step we keep throwing out some marbles therefore the weight will keep changing okay where earlier the earlier that weights were numbers 110 so we can see that weight is unchanged or it is decreased by 2 but here the weights are some alphabets we going to multiply them using certain rules so we going to see whether it is uh, we cannot say whether it is decreased something there is no order among number a b c d like this is bigger smaller like that so let's see what happens to the weight so again like uh, suppose you consider three consecutive uh, uh, cells like this and what we do so this is a empty cell this is empty and we put the cell from here to here and uh, we throw up, we discard uh, this uh, marble okay we have marble here marble here this is a empty so only in that case we can perform the steps so that will result in so this is empty this is empty there will be a cell here okay now what is the contribution of these three cells so here is a marble so the contribution is a here is a mar here is a marble the contribution is b here there is no marble so there is no contribution so the to total contribution is c a times b is c if you look at the multiplication table so here there is no marble no configuration so no contribution so here also no marble so here there is a marble so the contribution is c okay so these three marbles before you do the operation and post the operation the weight remains same it is c okay so again here also if you noticed here like uh, here the weight is b times c is uh, a and here also the weight is a after you do the operation also so this comes here and uh, this get thrown out so here this is empty this is empty here is a marble so in if you look at any three cells of all possible configuration the weight will remain same in this case okay even in when you use klein for group to label the uh, label the placeholders still uh, and when you perform the operation the weight remains same okay so therefore what was the uh, starting weight of the starting configuration so weight of the starting configuration is e so at each step the starting configuration has the weight e right you perform whatever step you want but we just show that the weight going to remain same therefore when you start it is e means after first step also the weight will be e then second step also e fourth step also e at the very last step also if you if at all you end up with one marble that marble should be in a place where there is a e right so let's see what we want but we want that to be in the center but the center has label b correct so the final configuration will have only one marble at the center and everywhere else it is empty right therefore the weight of the ending configuration is b so that is a problem so we start with uh, weight e and every step weight remains e but uh, if you want the marble to end in the center then at the final step the weight should be b but that is not possible right every step it remains e e e only so it cannot suddenly go to b so so weight of the starting uh, starting configuration is e and uh, like and no square is marked e in the board why i am saying is if at all you end up with one marble at the end it should end in e only because the weight is unaltered okay therefore uh, what we conclude is so not only we uh, we never win this game and uh, get one back in the center but we can never reach one back configuration okay it is not just that you reach one back at the center you can you will never reach one back at anywhere else also okay so what is the person saying you give me 10 to b you play this game you bring one peg to the center of the one marble to the center of the board i will give you 10000 but na, not even that is true you can you will at no time you will get single peg single marble you will get at anywhere so no time the game will end with one marble even so we have proved something much stronger okay using klein four group okay so that's a thing so i would like suggest some problems along this line it's very interesting uh, so uh, whatever i have done it is just the starting point of uh, one uh, big research area okay what is the research area like uh, so starting with pro this problem they go to different different configuration and they will study and they related related with uh, more uh, 
already existing mathematical concepts and so on okay. So like this is one problem like with the following coloring of the board still leave weight invariant like you think about it like this is the uh, configuration we saw in the YouTube video and uh, so in the uh, in our problem we were looking at the octagon. So this configuration is what we studied in both the cases using 110 and the Klein 4 group but I am moving to now the different board so this is plus kind of board here the 1 1 configuration will it work that is the question and what about this I take only half the board okay and so here is a empty space and everywhere else I put the board can I reach the single marble from this configuration similarly I take this uh, like uh, here you have uh, something here you have something in the earlier board but uh, I throw I just cut them off I just take the center part and if these four places are empty can I reach uh, some this this is my winning configuration can I reach this winning configuration but, but all these problems can be solved using either 110 or just the, using the idea from Klein 4 group okay so just think about it like uh, so there are a lot of even though it looks like very simple problem that we have used solved using a very simple techniques and so on there are books which talks about uh, this problem separately this problem separately like uh, particularly so uh, you can have a look at this uh, books uh, like uh, so like this John Conway and these people are like very big mathematician like most of them are well known persons okay and they have uh, extensively studied this uh, problem and its generalization okay and uh, like uh, so these are all books and uh, these are the even uh, research papers okay so new problems on old you, you look at here new problems on old solid boards okay so there were other different variants of the game also they try to understand using um, ideas uh, new uh, various mathematical ideas a fresh look at the uh, peck solitaire so the same game they want to approach it in a different way then there are other peck solitaire diagonal peck solitaire and so on there are a lot of literature it's uh, uh, then peck solitaire and graphs so and like this is like discrete mathematics like one of the very reputed journal in mathematics. So they have done some research and they have published it in the discrete mathematics. So, so many research is done like uh, and uh, reading those paper requires no much advanced uh, knowledge. Like if you can if you have understood understood my talk then you can just go ahead and uh, have a look at it. It will be very interesting to read those research articles. Okay, then there is more clock solitaire, cubism and more yeah and there are web references like in internet like there many people have written many many expository articles about these things so maybe i think they will share the slides i suppose like you can have a look at all these things so starting from very simple problem there is lots ha lot have been done in uh, related to mathematics you have a, you can have a look at it okay yeah so you have some doubts you can ask me i'll be very happy to answer so some objects we come across in mathematics looks abstract but they will find some usefulness in some diff some various branch of mathematics okay so that's a point i try to make yeah so there were some gaps i left as uh, he pointed out why 110 and such thing so you can uh, sir, you can try to figure it out yeah. sir actually the value is already pre assigned sir the value which is assigned in the box 0 1 or a b c whatever is pre-assigned yes so in the beginning of the game itself we assign the weights to the cells but only the pattern matters so even if it is a b c i put it in a some separate uh, order a b c a b c in a cyclic way so the order matters and again there is uh, some research papers why that order matters can you throw the numbers in a random way what happens when you throw it random way so such things also explode so whatever question we can think about most of them is done in a some elegant way yeah using some mathem mathematical stuff yeah so if we change the order of that uh, value if we change the order of the value can we uh, solve this problem or uh, we cannot no 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 we can solve like instead of like very simple thing is we can here itself we can see this a b c doesn't mean anything you can take b c a all you need is it should be taken it cyclically instead of a b c you take b c a you replace all the a b c by b c a or c a b still it will work but uh, they are all like say trivial changes only they, uh, you can clearly say clearly see like you, you just replace see whenever you see three consecutive abc you change it to bca or even any combination of abc still that will work 
okay that just if you look at it uh, it will work i mean nothing to because at east see as long as the number of a's in this uh, board number of b's in this board number of c's in this board is uh, unaltered and uh, you should put the numbers in such a way the weight is unaltered suppose i if i take a a b suppose i put the uh, suppose i put the ab i distribute the abc in such a way that there is a 2a and a 1b in a consecutive cells what happened uh, maybe i'll just write so this is a this is a this is b here is a marble here is a marble here there is no marble okay then what happens uh, at this at this step the contribution of these three cells will be uh, e correct so at the next step what happens is here there here there is no marble here there is no marble here there will be a marble right here the contribution is b so what happens is it changes so we don't want this a a b so whenever there is a three consecutive cells we want all the a b c to present there so we can just uh, erase the full labeling make sure that if you take any three consecutive cells there should be a there should be b there should be c that will make sure that the weight is unaltered after each step we just we just need to make sure that yeah, yeah. so we can take any permutation of a b c that will work yeah so replace a b c by any b c a c a b a c b that will also work no problem yeah sir one question on the uh, configuration so you mentioned that a power 12 b power 12 c power 12 is e which is one we also know that a into a is one b into b is one and c into c is one what if all the values are equal as in if a equal to one b equal to one and c equal to one so even in the end you will end up with the same weight as e right right so the thing is we are not substituting values this a is our usual alphabet a only okay so so like uh, that's why i'm saying so we are familiarized with uh, this number system 0 1 2 3 and minus 1 minus 2 and so on but uh, there may be people who like, in some uh, alien world they won't know only these four numbers okay so for them they don't know what is 1 2 3 and so on so they cannot really substitute anything and so on but with the, so and this is their numbers and uh, i wish i have shown how their multiplication is done excuse me <coughs> so this is their multiplication table okay then it works so if you change then if you put values for uh, a b c then you just uh, with uh, num- our usual number system okay <coughs> i mean what you are saying is correct if you replace then you cannot use this method but uh, like uh, we cannot re- we don't want to substitute this a is a some number in some different number system that's what we want we want to simply assume that and we want to proceed so normal multiplication does not apply to this space right so the multiplication given by this table so this is some special multiplication okay sir yeah yeah the questions ah yes please so my question is that in the previous case in the zeros and ones case hmm. we calculated the weight using uh, by addition and uh. in this in this abc case the fourier series <coughs> case we calculated by a special sort of multiplication right is, hmm. there any, is there any difference or how do we distinguish between the uh as i was saying like uh, see again there are many more uh, different uh, operation you can use so here i am using addition right like uh, you can choose the labeling suitably uh like this addi- so here we as you are saying this is addition here uh, this is some completely different multiplication they have no relation okay uh but somehow both operation works i don't know why that plus also works this star also works i don't know and uh, but the point i'm trying to make is even though this uh, this multiplication looks completely abstract we have no idea why we should need this kind of uh, multiplication but i'm saying that even though this multiplication looks completely strange uh, they will also be used they can they can be also used in uh, they can be used in many places that's the point i'm trying to make so uh, that plus and the star directly they don't have any relations 
maybe the good exercise in one of this book is to figure out uh, uh, can you define some other uh, can other group so this our uh, 1 2 3 etc with respect to plus 0 minus 1 oops uh, what i did minus 1 minus 2 so this set with respect to plus is called a group then this set 1 a b c with respect to this operation it is called another group okay so that uh, you, you will study in your group theory course can another group can, can the other groups there are lot of examples of groups now these are just examples of two groups can other groups also use it to solve this problem that is actually one exercise and like uh, maybe like in the papers you can check what are the other groups that can be used yeah plus is used star is used and there are other other operations also used Sure, yeah. Mm. So, group theory. So, any other questions? So, already I have taken a lot of more time, I think. So, I will just stop here. Yeah.